So where in the world are we today? We're at a restaurant, believe it or not, even though I'm standing on the beach. We've come to a restaurant, it's called D-A-M. D-A-M. Damn. Hey folks, and welcome back to Pattaya. We are on our way to an awesome evening out here. We got a great place to show you tonight. And in short, it's beachfront, seaside dining, just right here in Pattaya. And it's named after a man-made device commonly used to you know, block water flow in a river, also known as a dam. That's the name. Or dam, maybe dam. We're in far, far north Pattaya. In fact, maybe even kind of a no man's land between Pattaya and Lam Chibang. I can clearly see the cranes of Lam Chibang from here. It's a low tide right now. But you will definitely need a, oh, a taxi or some mode of transportation to get here. It's, it's uh, far enough outside of Pattaya, only about 10, 15 minutes. Uh, the other day, V came into my office and said, uh, this place has very different, a different spin on food and it's a really cool on a beach and I want to go there. And I said, well, let me see. I looked at it. I took one look. I said, yeah, wow. <laughs> it's pretty cool. It's something very different. And that's what I like. And that's what I like to show you guys as well. Even though I'm on the beach, we came in. It has a formal entrance and not hard to find. Probably um, less than a minute off of Sukhumvit Road. And then you come in, there's a place to sit down inside, but everywhere that you can sit down, inside, outside, where, is going to be something a little less traditional than you're used to at a, at a regular eatery. So uh, we've elected to sit right here on the beach in bean bags. And I've seen that before, but the way this is set up, it's almost like a campground, which is different. Uh, if you just if you just were walking down the beach and stopped in here you might think it's a campground just the way it's all set up with the campfires and all that but uh, we'll take a look around we have uh, ordered already and we ordered a couple of the signature dishes that i think look really cool so uh, i hope they taste as good as they look well we'll let you know but anyway v's around here somewhere looking at the, looking at the stuff so uh, we've got a beautiful, it's a nice little breeze out here today. It's not hot at all. It's partly overcast. And I don't know what this is, but right out here in the middle of the, of the bay out here is something. I'll try to get a better shot of that. I have no idea. It looks like a, a work in progress, some kind of thing they're building out there. And this is very muddy right here. I saw some people sinking in the mud earlier, uh, walking around. It might be clam beds, oyster bat, who knows, mussels, some kind of shellfish. It's also funny looking at the Sanctuary of Truth from this angle. Usually I'm looking at it from the other side, the Patia side. Now that's, that's how far beyond we are even the Sanctuary of Truth down there. We'll get, uh, we'll get all situated here and we'll take a look at the food as it comes. Okay, v, v has made her rounds and, and made it back to the table. Um, I think, well, I mean, we could have sat at a regular table. These bean bags, though, are okay. It's just you don't have the right posture. You gotta lean forward a little bit to eat. But I like having a front row seat. I guess the, uh, I, I guess the food's coming out. <laughs> uh, okay, I think that's mine. Look at that guy. Wow. So, that's supposed to be a volcanic pork knuckle. Wow! And that's the lava. <laughs> 
that's probably enough for the both of us. So we're probably going to take some of this home. Bee's daughter was going to come with us, but she was busy. So she'll have something to eat when we get home. I think, uh, I think Bee's is coming out now, which will make this one look small. And this is, <laughs> sometimes things don't look the right size on, on, on video, but this is, this is a lot of, this is a great big platter. I'm pretty sure two people could eat that. It might even be for two, but uh, this thing coming out here, this is like the, this is like a foot high. I say probably over a foot high. <laughs> wow. Wow, look at that. Look at that. So a, a burger mountain there. <laughs> we got the pork volcano and the burger mountain. I could, it's a lot of bread in that burger mountain. It's not all meat. If I didn't eat all the bread, I could probably take care of that myself. But actually, V wanted that. I, I wanted to get the pork knuckle. It just looks so good on their, uh, on their Facebook page. But the burger, I was kind of surprised she ordered that. But that is another one of their signature dishes. But their third one is a big, big signature dish. A big plate of salmon, raw salmon. But anyway, I'll give you a better look at these and we're going to dig in. And then after that, I shot a very short segment at home today. Because something happened today that, I, I don't know. There might be, I think for most people, it's going to be inconsequential, but there could be somebody that this is very important information for. Uh, and I know, <laughs> I know there was at least one person it was very important to. You'll see, I'll, we'll go over that, I'll keep it short, but it is something informational that uh, somebody out there may need to know. Anyway, we're going to dig in, then we'll be back. So here's what happened. V came home from school with this stack of rupees, 10, 500 uh, rupee notes. And apparently one of her classmates was paid this money for, for whatever, something to do with a hospital, I'm not sure. But I, I don't know, maybe she tried to trade them in and couldn't and gave them to V to help. V gave them to me to help. I took them to the TT Currency Exchange, which is one of the best here. And they explained to me that these are older notes. These notes are, they won't accept anymore. And this happens from time to time. Uh, countries switch their, they change their, the, the style and look and appearance of their notes, often to add more security features, things like that. And then here, they will, even though it may be legal tender still in the country of origin, here they will not accept them. So only the new notes, uh, I'll, I'll show you what they look like as opposed to the old notes. Um, so, I, I mention this because if, if you're a business or, or some, somebody in town who would have the occasion to collect money, these notes, if you're paid in these notes, you won't be able to cash them in. And two, if you are traveling here from India, make sure you go and get brand new notes from your bank. Maybe trade your old ones in for new ones. Don't come here with the, these ones, <laughs> these old ones, because you won't be able to, to spend them. You won't be able to spend them. You won't be able to convert them into Thai bot. I've given these back to V. She'll give them back to the classmate. I, uh, I couldn't help. I couldn't help. I tried. <laughs> but I thought I'd pass that along because I didn't know one rupee from the next. <laughs> They're taking away the, the leavings. We didn't quite finish it all. We, we, did a, we did a remarkable job on the pork knuckle. But although that, although that story w was, was about this with the rupees, it, it really could apply to any currency, especially US. You know, there's older $100 bills that I don't believe they accept here anymore. So I think it's always best, best practice to go get the newest, crispest uh, uh, bills, notes from your bank before you come here if you're bringing cash. Uh, some people don't bring cash anymore. There's ATMs. There's a, there's other methods, I guess. But 
travelers travelers checks are kind of out of vogue that's what i came with on my first trip here many years ago and you had to go to the bank and sign them all about 10 times and wow it was a real process <laughs> but that's 30 years ago crisp clean new banknotes without tears without pen marks on them things like that you will have a lot uh, easier time exchanging your money regardless of the currency um, if, if you follow that but so getting back to the food the pork knuckle uh, was very good the you don't have to put the the lava on it the, the red chili sauce but it was very spicy and we loved it uh, but that is on the side i poured it on there but if you don't like that the mustard and the white sauce which was some kind of sour cream but not pure sour cream some kind of concoction it was was all very good very complimentary to the pork and the burger i believe what it was was the chicken burger pork burger beef burger all stacked and then top of onion rings uh, topped with onion rings and then with french fries uh, which were flavored with some kind of parsley uh, garlic uh, cheese everything had little touches to it parmesan cheese things like that so wow both both dishes probably both dishes would probably feed two people if if you're a family of four coming here uh, with two kids or something those dishes would feed the whole family for adults maybe a little bit uh, maybe, maybe you need one more small dish or something but wow it was great and it's just a, a, a great evening out here. Now, just before the food came, I shot some video and you can see I talked about the mud out here, but look now, the water has come all the way out. You can't see the mud anymore just that quick. The water now is, is just, I don't know, 20, 20 meters away from us or something. And uh, the tide is, is definitely on its way in. It's like it happened all at once while we were eating. I was in mid bite, almost finishing up and I looked over and I'm like, huh, the water's here. <laughs> because before it was way out there. One thing that's a little bit strange here is <laughs> there actually is like a, a walking path, jogging path, kind of right through the middle of the restaurant. So you have the indoor portion and then like a terrace area. Then you have this walking, jogging path, and then you have this beach area where we're set. So, but it's not a big thing. I mean, there's people out for an evening stroll, exercising, jogging, and they just kind of go by. But it, it does kind of like cut right through the middle of the restaurant, but it's, it hasn't been distracting. I just found that a little bit strange, a little bit different. Uh, we'll see how much the bill is. Uh, the menu wasn't real. <clears throat> I, I, I took a quick look at the menu when I got here because we were in the middle of a couple things and didn't see a whole lot of pricing on, on the menu. So we'll see how much the bill is. Uh, we didn't get any alcoholic drinks. They do have a bar and a beer, whatever you want. But we just got, I got a latte and V got a green tea. So we, we don't, uh, we don't have a big, a big bill because of alcohol. So it's just the, basically the food. So we'll see what it's going to be. I'll let you know. So it turns out that each signature dish was the exact same price at $6.79, so just short short of 700 baht. The whole bill, $17.63. I, the, the, the coffees were a little overpriced, I think, but I think a fair price for the entrees considering they would feed like two people each. And there were many things. These are their biggest signature dishes on the menu. There were many things, two to 300 baht as well. Uh, so that's not bad. It's uh, $17.63, just, just right at $50 US for... Two of their signature dishes, drinks, and uh, an evening right here on the beach. So uh, we we recommend Dam. Dam was a Dam was a damn fine choice. I'll put it that way. So we'll see what else there is to choose next time. Because for this episode, gotta leave it off right here. And as usual, I'll thank you for watching. And until next time, bye for now.